Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Wild Wild West. I hate Will Smith. <laughs> but I like those 90s hip hop songs. I saw this thumbnail and I was like, dude, Wild Wild West Festival? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Well, welcome to Street Smart Swing, folks. My name is Jamin Jackson. I am your online arbiter of all things Lindy Hop. I am super excited to look at this Wild Wild West Jack and Jill competition. Dancing is my favorite thing to do in life, next to eating, and then probably judging competitions. I love looking at good Lindy Hop. Good Lindy Hop. And I'm gonna be doing something different on this particular competition. I'm gonna take a look at it, and I'm, I'm gonna be looking to see if these dancers will do something I haven't seen before. This is, this is gonna be my pet peeve right now. I'm looking for the next artist. I'm looking for those people who can contribute to the artistic legacy of Lindy Hop. So my eyes are out there, I'm looking at everything, and this video piqued my interest. So let's get right into this one. And here we go. I'm excited. Let's see. So far, I don't see any familiar faces. This could be a real treat. Yes, here we go. <laughs> yeah, like that foot slide. Ah, nice footwork. I saw that. He's just waiting and allowing his partner to go out there. It takes tremendous discipline to do that. Yeah. Ah, I like that crossover swing out. I saw that. <laughs> Dancers are really controlled. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Mm 
Yeah. Oh, they speed it up. Expect that. That was good. say I was entertained with that it's rare to be entertained with the Jack and Jill it really is you have to be as a judge you have to be looking for certain things you know and and a lot of judges don't tell you what they're looking for I'm not that kind of judge people come up to me afterwards they're like hey why did I win the competition I'm like hey I don't know about everybody else but this is where I had you so I like to judge people on three things um, control is number one. That's just the basic technique. That's the most objective part of Lindy Hop. 
that we really don't explain a lot, and we should, there's only 25% that's objective. That's that part that works with everybody's different style. It's the, it's the most intrinsic basic elements that make the thing work. For me, if I can see call and response, if I can see the leader start something, the follower complete it, and they do it well, that's awesome. That's control. It looks good. Next thing I look at is timing. I like to see can they match some of their movements to the most obvious change in the music. And most people in the Strictly can do that because it's based on choreography and a little bit of social dancing. Blase, blase. You know, that part's not too complicated at this particular level. These dancers are really good. But the hardest part for me in swing dancing is figuring out who you want to be. Figuring out what makes you special. And it's usually the part that you hate about your dancing. It's that one little part everybody's like, oh, I love that move that you did. And that video, you're like, oh, don't bring it up. I hated my dancing then, right? That's the hardest part to be able to develop as a dancer. A lot of times you can get so caught up in the technique that you lose yourself and you forget the very thing that makes you stand out from everybody else. So that's the essence I'm looking for a lot of times I take priority of that part more so than I do the other two. In this competition, there were two people. They did two things. One of the couples did something that I'd seen, but I haven't seen it in the spot that they did it in. Uh, the gentleman who had, uh, yes, that's what it was. Yeah, the, the follower had like blue jeans on and the guy had like a vest. Um, and they did like a swing out and then they did this little leg swivel thing at the end of the swing out going into the one It was such a surprise. I'd never seen anything like that in that particular spot That was the first thing that got my attention Because I've done that move before but I haven't done it actually right there and that was super super cool I don't know if it was about I don't know why it surprised me so much I think it, I think it was because the leader didn't even assume like visually that he was going to go into that movement. It just kind of was like a swing out and then bam, at the very end. I like that one. Caught my attention. But the move of this competition, folks, I don't even know if it was deliberate or not. And you all saw it. It was the move where uh, <laughs> the guy had his jacket. I don't know if it got caught in the follower's arms or something, but she took his jacket off. They were turning and he tried to fix it. And it was just like, ah! What's gonna happen? And then like it worked out. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. And, and what's cool about it, it's not only that that was fresh. I don't know if that was choreographed or not. They might actually say it was like improvised. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. But uh, I think it, I think it was improvised. Let's take that back. I think it was more improvised and a mistake than it was like deliberate, right? But those kind of things happen a lot of times when you don't plan for them. And so for me, I like those kind of movements that are crazy like that, that were different. I didn't expect that to happen. And what I would do in the future, I'd probably take a move like that and put it into a routine, like something really obvious uh, in a routine where people can go, now that's cool. We didn't see that coming. Sometimes just taking a little prop or something in a routine can like take it from one level to the next and... I was just so surprised by that on this strictly that if they did that in a routine, it would just be, it would be the make it or break it thing uh, if I was judging a lot of couples. So hats off for everybody in that competition. You guys can dance. I mean, that was really good to see uh, everyone just out there. I didn't see anybody just, there wasn't a real disparity in the level. Um, it looked like people felt comfortable with the technique. That part is cool because that's the part that's least fun as a teacher to have to teach. Just like, here's how rhythm works. Here's how connection works. Here's how this works. Once you get that out of the way, it's it, the more the fun is in figuring out what to do with it that looks different and respectable to the art and adds a little bit more to the, the language uh, that we can all be inspired by. So hats off to you guys who did this at the Wild Wild West Festival. Who do you guys thought won that competition? I wasn't there judging. I can tell you my favorite. And I already told you my favorite couples. Uh, based on the moves that one I hadn't seen before and one that was done a different way. Uh, let me know who you thought should have won this in the comments section. Who do you think was the better dancer on there? Um, love to know. If you guys are uh, considering going to a big event, you should. You need to get out of your comfort zone. Go to an event like this. Try it. I don't know where Wild Wild West is at, 
Wild Wild Festival, but you need to go to it. If you're in the area, don't be lazy. Just register, get out there, have a good time, learn something. And you might even find some of those people who are dancing out there. You might take class from them. That's, a, that's one of the best things you can do to get better is to take class and then go social dance. Don't get caught up in your head, you know, just doing a bunch of surgery with Lindy Hop. It's, it's, it's meant to be processed. So the more you go out and social dance, the more you're going to learn. If you guys want to figure out how to um, accelerate your learning curve where you're not like frustrated on the technique, check out some of my classes below. We put a lot of, put a lot of hours in helping you guys figure out how to make Lindy Hop simple so that you can not only get fast for yourself and improve in a way where you can fix yourself as you're social dancing, but you can also communicate a streamlined language to other people so that uh, your community can grow faster. So check some of those classes out. I'd love to hear what you guys thought in the comments section of the Wild Wild West, uh, Jack and Jill. It was awesome. Hats off to you guys. I'd love to see you in class online. If not, I will see you in the next reaction video. Take care.